Welcome to Learn Biology and today we'll be starting our topics on evolution. Now before I begin, I must say this is not to offend any uh, cultural ideas or religious ideas. This is simply in the name of science and uh, what has been going on for the last few centuries. So with that I can begin with one of the earliest theories of how life sprung forth. And this is known as the theory of preformation. So, preformation. And before we even go on, we can look at the name preformation. We know what formation means something that is created. So, something created. And the pre means that it was already created. So, already created. That is what preformation means means so already created so now the idea of preformation has existed for several hundred years and even in the time of Pythagoras this theory was uh, being made and what it says is that there is no such thing as evolution meaning that all creatures were created at the same time so that means human beings cats, dogs, everything was created at the same time and it we don't have a common ancestor uh, or any of that so that is what preformation states and it also says that Adam contained all humans within him now to make better sense of this what this means is that Adam contained tiny human beings within him and this is a famous uh, drawing right here uh, that was created in 1694 expressing the theory of preformation and these tiny humans so Adam contained all humans within him and these tiny humans are called homunculuses so this is tiny humans which are within Adam. So what this is kind of expressing is simply sperm. It says they did not know what sperm was until the 16 and 1700s so uh, they, con they called it little human beings which it kind of does. If you see this is a drawing of a sperm cell and it's showing a small human that is fit within the sperm cell if you see right there you can see the small human being and you can see here that they're just tiny human beings and what preformation stated is that these homunculuses these tiny humans were uh, transferred from Adam into Eve in which they developed and continued to grow and then once they came out of the mom's stomach they continued to grow more but it's saying that all humans that were ever going to exist came from Adam. It's kind of you know hard to understand but uh, that is how uh, it's simply stating. So just remember that that homunculuses are tiny humans and that Adam contained all humans within him. So what this means is that there was no such thing as f evolution and that every c creature that was ever going to exist was present from the day of creation so nothing has changed since the first day of earth this was disproved when cell fertilization was understood we understood that sperm and eggs or ovum are just simply sex cells which form together and develop over time rather than tiny humans already present so so the uh, formation of even better microscopes so the formation of better microscopes which allowed scientists and evolutionists to uh, observe the sperm and the ovum uh, led to disproving parthenogenesis saying that the the sperm and ovum are simply 
organisms, tiny uh, particles that contain genetic material. So contain genetic material. And when they combine, they form a combined cell, which then gradually develops and forms into an organism. Again, uh, preformation states that the sperm is simply a small person who then goes into the mom's stomach. So, goes into the mom's stomach and then just grows bigger. So, just goes from that to that. So, that is what preformation stated. So, uh, thank you for watching Learn Biology and we'll see you next time.